Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game uh, in the history of chess from 1908 in Vienna. In this chess game we have the legendary, one of the greatest, Akiba Rubinstein and one of the greatest at the time Aldrich Duras, who won many important chess tournaments, one of the leading chess players at the time who had the black pieces in this chess game. Uh, let's see what happened in this chess game. This is also a very instructive, notable chess game. So Akiba Rubinstein, who had the white pieces, starts the game with d4. We have d5, knight to f3, c5, e3, knight to f6. And we have the call system, d takes on c5, queen check, and capturing the pawn back. Blocking with the knight, knight to d2. And Rubinstein is also planning to play c4. So a3 and he is planning to play b4. So defending the queen, queen to c7. c4, d takes on c4. And then knight takes on c4. Developing the knight and then b4 by Akiba Rubinstein. Bishop to g4. Developing the bishop, bishop to b2. And then b5, attacking the knight. Where is the knight playing? Actually, this is one of the very interesting moments of this chess game. In this position, maybe knight to d2 comes to mind, but Akiba Rubinstein played a move which looks like a move of a drunk person. He played knight from c to e5 because it looks like he forgot that his knight on f3 is pinned. Well, Duras happily captures the knight. Knight takes on e5. But this was the idea of Akiba Rubinstein. He simply captures the knight. Knight takes on e5 and sacrificing the queen. Double exclamation point. Okay, so bishop takes on d1 and then bishop takes on b5. That's check and blocking with the knight. If in this position you might wonder what happens if king to d8, then who rook takes on d1 is going to came with a check. So after moving the king, bishop check, moving the king, and white has a very strong move in this position. Did you see that move? Knight to c6, this is the move. If capturing the knight, this is the only move. And then bishop to e5, and where is the king queen? You can only block with the queen. And white has this fantastic move. Can you see the move? Rook to c1. And basically in this position you can stop rook to c8. So if capturing the bishop, getting checkmated. And if queen to c7, simply capturing the queen and getting checkmated. And in this position, if queen to c7, then rook to d8, and this is immediately getting checkmated, it would be a very cute combination, had, plate, had black played like this, if he would move the king, it would be one of the most unforgettable chess miniatures, one of the most unforgettable checkmates at top level chess competitions, but Duras was a resilient, a strong, tough chess player, he was a tough nut to crack, so in this position, instead of moving the king, he played knight to d7 and Rubinstein simply captures the knight. And actually black is giving up the queen. Queen takes on d7 and then knight takes on d7 in the real chess game. After bishop takes king to d8, rook takes on d1 is possible and how to defend knight takes on f7 checkmate. So black has to play something like queen to b6, giving air to the king, and then bishop to c6 check, and then simply capturing the rook, and this is too much for black. And actually I don't see any defense in this position, checking the king with the rook, rook to d7, uh, the bishop is coming, I mean this is too much for black. White has the rook, the knight, the bishop, and one extra pawn. So this is easily winning for white, actually, in this position.
So in the real chess game we have queen takes on d7, simply capturing the queen and saving the bishop and Rubinstein played knight to e5. So he is planning to play g4, bishop back, capturing the bishop and damaging the pawn structure. So rook over and then pushing the pawn and simply capturing the bishop with damaging the pawn structure. And this endgame is easily winning for white. But white has to play very accurately. So white is a pawn up and then bishop to d4 and Rubinstein is attacking on a7. So there is no time for infiltrating with the rook. So how to defend the a pawn? If capturing the a pawn, white is going to create two connected pass pawns and that is game over. So a6 and king to d2, very precise move, not allowing rook to c2. And then we have f6, rook over and exchanging the rooks, not capturing back with the king, but capturing back with the rook. Very accurate actually, pushing the pawn and giving up the h-pawn. But after exchanging the bishops, simplifying the game, and Rubinstein is accurately defending the f-pawn, black played e4, so I think black's idea was to play a rook to g2, attacking the g-pawn and not allowing king to f3 in this position. So rook up and how to defend the a-pawn. So basically if capturing the a-pawn, white is going to create two connected passers. So we have rook to g2 as expected. As expected. So after rook to g2, Rubinstein simply captures the pawn. Well, in this position, if a, sorry about that, if pushing the a pawn, then we can push a, the b pawn, and rook to a6 is going to follow up later, and white is easily winning in this position, not capturing the pawn. Actually, a, we can push the pawn. This is also very good. Capturing the pawn is also okay. And then rook to a6. And white is easily winning. Okay, so let's take it back after rook to c6. Going after the a-pawn. Black is going after the g-pawn. And Rubinstein simply captures the a-pawn. Rook takes on g4. And then rook to a7. Cutting the king off. Rook to g1. b5. Rook to b1. And simply defending the pawn. And well, there is a big problem for black. Rubinstein is cutting the king off and the material is even but Rubinstein has two connected pass pawns, black has none. So white is winning. Rook to b7, rook to a1, b6, rook takes on a4 and giving up the a pawn but after rook to a7, Rubinstein made his calculations. After this move, black is losing, black is in big trouble. So if capturing the rook, then capturing back and this a pawn is going to be a queen. So rook to b4 going behind the pawn but Rubinstein played b7 and this is basically busted for black. Black played g4 but just for the records if king down then we promote the queen with check. That's a discover attack to the king. So rook to b4, b7, g4 and Rubinstein played the most obvious move in this position. He played rook check, king down and then pushing the pawn and promoting the queen and white is a rook up. Black played few more moves for some reason. This is resignable and after king to f1, Ulrich Duras resigned, one of the top leading chess players at the time. Let me show you the possible continuation just for fun. It would be something like this. So something like so. After f5 check and rook to a6, white is a rook up. And white is winning and there is no question about that. Easily winning for white. A very instructive chess game by Akiba Rubinstein. Outclassed, outsmart his opponent. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.